No, 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 Doing political commentary for the media speaks. You might know me from Blasting News. You might know me from Wits News. Guys, it's crazy out there. Um, the massive Fukushima update is and will always be about Fukushima. Imagine that. However, in light of everything that's going on here, I did think it was prudent to at least address the elephant in the room, which is COVID-19. Um, and trust me, we're going to get to all the Fukushima information. Um, the first of all, I wanted to say, if you're uh, if you're somebody who feels that they may be in trouble as this lockdown happens, we have been encouraged at my church to have you contact the Trinity Gospel Temple if you are in need. They are in Canton, Ohio. Brother Gamble, Brother Dave, uh, that they are asking, they're offering to help people who may be in need. Uh, that said, I have a number of articles up on, uh, they're on Wits News. I'm doing daily updates on WitsNews.com. I have an article on the coronavirus where the numbers are a bit dated now, but the facts pertaining to the virus are very prudent and very accurate, and you may want to look at those. Um, what else am I going to say here real quick about this? Oh, the reason I am streaming on the correct views. It's a lower video quality than this particular phone camera up there. I don't own a nice camera, unfortunately, uh, in large part due to my own foolishness. But um, I think it may run out of memory. And now that I'm adding this COVID thing, uh, COVID-19 update, I should say, show update, it is possible that the... Um, memory may run out on that and I want to make sure on my channel at least the whole show is up the HDF unless it cuts off really soon will be on the speaks this time um, all right friends here's what I'm gonna do um, like many people yours truly is a DJ and a writer and a census taker I do real estate photography. I do all kinds of things that involve being in the public, which doesn't look like it's going to be an option. So it's going to be important for me to keep food on the table in other ways. So here's what I'm going to do. If you would like me to do regular coronavirus or COVID ID, COVID-19, excuse me, updates, I'm asking for donations of $5 or more, that's it, just 5 bucks, because everybody's tight right now, to the correct views at Hotmail.com through PayPal. For everyone that donates $5 or more, I will do at least one show about COVID-19. If at any point this reaches over $100, then I will do it weekly all the way at least until the virus goes away, or perhaps, uh, I want to say June. How's that? June's fair. Five bucks for crying out loud. Um, if you guys hit 100 If at any point it hits $500 or higher, I will cover the COVID-19 nightmare as much as I can every day or every couple of days, because I have a number of jobs going on. I will cover it on a regular basis. And more importantly, I will do so all the way until the nightmare has come to an end or I no longer have the internet, which could happen. So I don't want to make any promises. If I lose my internet, I lose my internet. So if, you, if you're going to donate money and get mad about that if it happens. But that's one of the reasons I am trying to do this because the money that will be sent to me for this, usually I put all the money that is donated to me back into the show. Everyone knows that. I've done that since day one. I've never taken a penny that was donated to the show for me. The exception may be during this crisis. Um, just, just because everything is shut down. A lot of what I do is shut down. I'm a DJ. I'm an entertainer. Uh, the writing is great, but I, I freelance write. So basically, I'm not going to go into great detail, but a lot of the jobs I do involve being in the public, and now is not a good time to be in the public. So if you would like 
the regular updates and information that I can provide about COVID-19 and the coronavirus, I'm asking for $5 or more donated to the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. So it's up to you guys if you want me to do it. It's going to take a lot of time. It's going to take an awful lot of time. I know the articles I've written have taken copious amounts of time to collate, to gather, to verify, to source, and then to write the article. So it's going to take considerable amount of time to bring you the kind of information that you trust me to bring you. And I'm asking for a $5 donation from anybody. The correct views at Hotmail.com through PayPal. All right, guys, into the massive Fukushima updates. Uh, oh, yeah, I did say I was going to give you some facts on the uh, on COVID-19 real quick, some of the, the side notes I found. So I am going to do that real quick. Um, for every one person who is infected, they suspect between 25 to 50 may be infected and not know it. In Ohio, Governor DeWine doesn't know if school will open again for the year. Currently in Ohio, where I am, clubs are closing, nightclubs are closing at 9 p.m. I don't expect the church that I go to to be open next week. Currently, the death rate for COVID-19, of course, is 3.4%, but it is so very deadly for the elderly that if you factor the elderly out, the death rate is between 1% to 2%. So it drops significantly, depending on the area. I know they're working on a vaccine for it, and I know that uh, it's going to be rushed through, which is frightening in and of itself. It also has been rumored and not confirmed, the Hill mentioned this, that uh, reinfection, catching it a second time, if you will, is rumored to be something that is happening with this virus and that has not been confirmed yet. That's just some of the, the information off the top of my head. I know that I have put down in recent articles, people comparing this to the Spanish flu um, there's a few differences. Uh, for one thing, the Spanish flu of 1918 was actually a three-year nightmare. The first year the Spanish flu hit, it was bad. It was definitely bad. When it came back around, it came back around after dying down during the warmer season like a lion with a bad wisdom tooth. That's not great. I went on for three years. Now, people are saying that science has progressed so very far since then that it's not going to be as bad as the Spanish flu. The touche with that is that while that is very much true, that's a fact, there are a couple other facts that, due to the gravity of them, could negate the progress seen from what we have advanced in science. And one of those things is the fact that most people lived in the country in 1918. Now most people live in the city. We're clustered together. Also, air travel started in 1914. So by 1918, when the Spanish flu was at its zenith, air travel was something novel. Then novel, there you go. Novel coronavirus. Uh, air travel was something novel. So a lot of people were not in the skies yet. Today... We have no idea how many people may have all been, already been infected in the friendly skies prior to when air travel has slowed. As of this recording, I don't think all air travel has stopped, although it may have. Um, I don't believe so. This could be interesting in a very bad way. And the most important thing is to prepare and not to panic. How do you do that? You pay attention to what I said about the church. You pay attention to places that will help you. Do you have a skill? For instance, I offered my services as a driver. If people need food delivered to their doorsteps, the churches and places that are dropping them off are going to be very low on drivers. I offered to be one. You could do something like that, and if everybody does their own part to get everyone through this, then that will be extremely, extremely helpful. So those are some facts I got about the COVID-19 outbreak. If you want more, if you want that kind of information given to you, $5. That's all I'm asking. That's it. That's all I'm asking. 
five dollars donated at the correct views at hotmail through paypal.com all right guys here is your massive fukushima update this is from if i know how to use my own computer greenpeace.org sam you such a far right freak greenpeace i just sourced greenpeace we all know what right far right outlet we all know what a far right outlet greenpeace is now don't we High level radiation hotspots found at J Village, the starting point of Tokyo 2020 Olympic Torch Rally. Now, I know there have been trolls upon my comment line saying that there's nothing to fear and downplaying the significance of hotspots. And that bothers me quite a bit. That bothers me a lot. Because hotspots, for those of you that don't know, make the overall radiation numbers far worse than they actually are. It's kind of like saying, uh, how many of you know what the bullet ant is? For those of you that don't know, look up bullet ant gloves or fire ant gloves. The, 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 the venom or whatever it is that is in the mandibles of these ants triggers every pain receptor in the human body when they bite. Nanoreceptors, mechanoreceptors. Thermal receptor, all of your receptors, the, what makes you burn, what makes you hurt, all of it is triggered. So if I give, if I throw 10 ants at you, most of the it's ants, Sammy, it's not going to do anything. If one of those ants happens to be a bullet ant, you are going to be in sheer misery for the next 24 hours. And that includes if you go to the hospital. The pain is so intense that some people have said that even morphine doesn't help. Okay, now use that analogy to a hot particle. Even if the area is safe, and again, we've covered on this show many times how the word safe is negotiable because they're not testing for all of the elements which are likely to be found. They're testing for the elements that they know are very likely are not going to be found. So even if it was safe, some of those harmless level particles are hot particles extremely radioactive may be part of the melt out where the core blew out of the reactor of which we've never seen on the earth before and there is it's found in a lot of the black goo that was in the streets of japan uh, arnie gunderson the physicist reported on hot particles and the black goo repeatedly when this disaster happened. Well, this here is uh, is more than worrisome. It's uh, Japan. Uh, High-level radiation hotspots have been found at the sports complex where the 2020 Olympic torch rallies will begin, according to a survey to be released by Greenpeace in Japan. The radiation levels around J Village Stadium in Fukushima Prefecture, it says, were as high as 71 microsieverts per hour at surface level. This is 1,775 times higher than the 0 0.0 millisieverts per hour prior to the Fukushima Daiichi reactor meltdown in 2011. Now, how many people have you seen, particularly on my comment line, because the trolls tend to find me like Pac-Man finds little white dots. How many times have you heard them say, it's no worse now than it's ever been? 71 microsieverts per hour was a lot higher than 0.04 microsieverts when I went to school. Call it a hunch. Greenpeace's nuclear monitoring and radiation protection advisors detected and documented several radiation hotspots on October 26th during its annual survey, which will be published on spring of 2020. On the 18th of November, Greenpeace sent Japan, sent Japan a letter to Ministry Kuziyomo of the Japanese Ministry of Environment. Uh, it's worded strangely. It's uh, translated from Japanese, I believe demanding immediate decontamination measures and assurance that the public will not be exposed to radiation hot spots during the Olympics and Paralympics events at J Village. Copies were also sent to the president of the International Olympic Committee, as well as the presidents of the International Paralympic Committee, Japanese Olympic and Paralympic, Com 
Paralympic Committees and governor of Fukushima Prefecture, who is also the president of J Village. And of course, they haven't yet received a response from the Japanese government. <sighs> Many of the uh, contents of the letter, letter, it says, was leaked to the public. While general radiation levels were low at the J Village, these radiation hotspots are of significant public health concern. Radiation hotspots of such high levels, repeat high levels, they're not very high, you'd say high levels, can be found in the closed area around Fukushima, so-called Area 3, uh, but should not be present in publicly accessible areas. How can we ensure that? These are particles. They're not bowling balls. Yet they are at the location that has been the focus of an extensive decontamination program and is also the starting point for the Olympic torch rally in Japan. The radiation hotspots, it says, highlight both the scale of decontamination of contamination, excuse me, caused by the Fukushima disaster and the failure of decontamination efforts. We have called on the Ministry of the Environment to act urgently and to initiate immediate decontamination, said Kazu Suzuki, emerging emergent energy campaigner at Greenpeace Japan. Now, I don't know if you are aware of this or not as I slurp my drink live on air, but they don't have the science to deal with it. They're washing around and spraying around. You can't decontaminate radiation. His, his demand to clean it up might as well be like his demand for someone to dance on the surface of the sun. There's no way to do it. it says the radiation hotspots at the parking lot close to Jay Village are of particular concern because they are located in an area that is currently visited by a large number of people. The highest levels were 71 USVH at a contrast of 32 USVH at 10 centimeters. Uh, it, it, goes, it goes on rather extensively. The sievert count here is breathtaking. There is a risk that heavy rain will spread these high levels of contamination on public roads. Lovely. And thus recontaminate already decontaminated surfaces this could partially undo earlier efforts to decontaminate the public areas in Jay Village. So, it said it is more logical that the decontamination was not sufficiently and thoroughly conducted in the first place. Why would that be? Because they're worried about the bottom dollar. They want the money generated from the Olympics more than they care about what happens to you or anybody else that attends them or participates in them or tours to go to them. It's that simple. Friends, learningenglish.voanews.com. Japan struggles to struggles with cleanup of nine years. I was, I was I was at a very happy point in my life when this disaster first hit. Very odd to think how long ago it was. All right. The Japanese government, the citizens, and groups are debating what to do with the radioactive water from the disabled nuclear power center at Fukushima. Now, if you have followed the show regularly, you already know that they're planning on dumping it in the Pacific Ocean. And we've talked ad nauseum about what that means and uh, particularly what it means as it relates to the fishing community and the radioactive levels that uh, we've seen pulled out of the ocean with alarming regularity. As a matter of fact, they can't find one tuna which isn't showing signs of Fukushima radiation. And they can tell if it came from Fukushima or not by the rate of decay on the radioactive element being tested. I didn't slurp or anything. Um, the, it talks about the earthquake and the damage. We know that. The Associated Depressed, as Rush Limbaugh says, recently observed that the decontamination process taking place there, um, and it's in a state of turmoil, friends. Officials are trying to decide what to do with 1.2 million tons of radioactive water, which is stored at Fukushima. The nuclear center is operated by the Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO. The company says that it needs to free up space as work for the da on the damaged reactors reaches an important point. These are the kinds of concerns that should have been listened to before the plant was open. Experts 
Warren Tepco, which is GE, which is General Electric, which do not bring good things to life and which you never want to be investing in. And if it's in your mutual fund, you want to move to an infrastructure mutual fund to get away from it. Um, they were warned that this was a likelihood. They were warned that this was very much something that could happen within the time span of Fukushima operating plant, and it did. The same experts are being ignored now in relation to the power plant in Bashar, Iran. Even if Iran was the most awesome people, country in the world and was singing our praises instead of hoping for our death and chanting for it in the street. You cannot build a nuclear power plant there due to the earthquake activity. And we know from Fukushima that the earthquake shut down at least one of the reactors prior to the tidal wave coming in. So we know that an earthquake can shut down a power plant in and of itself. Many people expect TEPCO to slowly release the water into the ocean near the nuclear centers. The government has already approved the plan. Doltish. However, it is not clear when the company will carry out the plan. Local people oppose it because releasing the water into the nearby sea could hurt fisheries. You think? Sales of fish caught off the coast near Fukushima are 50% of what they were before the nuclear disaster, and fish caught in the area have been approved for sale after radioactivity testing by the officials. So they're selling tainted food. and It's out there in the open. Okay, it's out there in the open. Fish caught in the area have been approved for sale after radioactivity testing by health officials. Learning English, VOA News. It's right there, and it's right in front of you. TEPCO Chief Decommissioning Officer Akira Ono said that the water must be removed. He says crews need to space currently occupied by the water tanks. In their place, workers will set up structures to hold melted reactor wreckage. Yeah. Imagine that. Maybe you should have thought about how the water needed to be removed and the crews would need space currently occupied by the water tanks when you built it, which you shouldn't have ever done, which is why nuclear or anything needs to be posed by anybody who has a thinking part of their brain. Workers are planning to remove wreckage from the melted reactor by December of 2021. Special equipment is taking up unit to part unit two. Radioactive waste is being removed from Unit 3. People wear protective clothing and head coverings to work in all but the most radioactive areas of the nuclear center. Now, friends, let me explain to you why this is absolute insanity, okay? First of all, the way around this is, let's say, common sense here. Let's say that this is all the room you have to store water tanks, and it's all full, all the way up, all the way up. Then you build... Parking decks, parking deck-like structures out of concrete. Yes, storing the water high could be bad in the event of an earthquake, but it is certainly less risky than dumping it into the ocean. This is something that they are doing on purpose. Do me a favor. If you heard that, let me write on the comment line. I heard that. Let me know that you listened long enough. And then do me a favor and make sure that authorities have that idea. And I'm sure they do, but make sure they have that idea. Make sure they address why that isn't being done. You don't have to start flat. Again, it's not a good idea to put it up in the sky. That's one of the problems with the storage pool. It's three stories high, and an earthquake will knock it over like a domino. But my idea is still better than releasing it into the ocean. At this point, it is difficult to predict risk, said Katsumi Saljigawala, who is a radio, radiology, radio, radiology take-two expert at the University of Tokyo. There's another source. He has been studying the back underground water around the nuclear reactor. He said the long-term results of level, level exposure and radioactivity in the food chain has not been fully studied. Repeat, the expert from the University of Tokyo has said the long-term results of low-level exposure to radioactivity in the food chain has not been fully studied. Is that clear enough for everyone? After years of discussions, the government group released a report earlier this year. It proposed two possible ways to dispose of treated water. Uh, one method was to mix treated water with fresh water and release it into the ocean. 
The second would be to permit it to dry up over time. <coughs> Radioactivity does not just dry up. It goes into the atmosphere. It goes into the food chain. It goes into the water table when it rains. It travels on the jet stream. That's why my idea of a parking-like deck structure is at least more durable than any of the boneheaded ideas I've heard thus far. Once again, if you wish to donate, please do so. You can do so at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. Friends, DW.com, as you uh, hit share, hit subscribe. Fukushima, how the ocean became a dumping ground for radioactive waste. Another story about this. I've got two stories left here. I wonder if I'm going to make it before that camera runs out. If I sound like I'm reading quickly, that is why. I'm trying to get a better camera, but they're so expensive. Almost 1.2 million liters, that is 320,000 gallons of radioactive water from Fukushima nuclear power plant, from the Fukushima nuclear power plant, is to be released into the ocean. That is on the recommendation of the government's advisory panel some nine years after the disaster on Japan's coast. The contaminated water has since been used, of course, to cool the reactors. Radioactive levels in the sea off Fukushima are millions of times higher than the government limit of 100 becquerels. And again, a becquerel is a tiny nuclear explosion that takes place on the cellular level inside the human body. Well, I should say when it is inside the human body. Every single one of those 100 becquerels are like a little explosion going off 100 times per second. Each of those can affect a cell when it explodes, so to speak. If that cell is affected and mutates, we have a name for that. That name is cancer. So let me say again, and the source for this is DW.com. Radiation levels in the sea off Fukushima are millions of times higher than the government limit of 100 becquerels. That means you are millions of times more likely to get cancer or some kind of equally horrid uh, diagnosis from the water at Fukushima. Mil hundreds of millions of nuclear reactions per second going off, trying to hit a cell, just one cell. And still today, radioactive substances can be detected off the coast of Japan and in other parts of the Pacific. They have been measured in very small quantities off the U.S. coast in concentrations well below the harmful levels set up by the World Health Organization. But again, we've covered before the uh, concerns which have been uh, displayed over exactly what it is uh, that's going on there. And there's a his there's a history of uh, nuclear waste in the sea, and there's a, a list of radiation in terabecquerels. Terabecquerels! After I just gave you the de definition of a becquerel. Off the coast of the U.S., it's 550. On the uh, east coast, Believe it or not, I did not know this. 2,940, uh, 42,320 in uh, the central part of the globe, 38,370 uh, further eastward, and uh, 890 near the Asian islands. The ocean doesn't, it wasn't just being used as a training ground for nuclear war, it has been used as a dumping ground, they write. Dreadful. And friends, you do know exactly what... Uh, oh, no, I got two left. I'm sorry. I thought I had two left a minute ago. I have two left now. I'm not going to make it up there. You guys, don't forget, if you're listening, go over to uh, the Media Speaks on uh, YouTube. The Media Speaks on YouTube. And you'll... Uh, no, excuse me. If you're on the Media Speaks, go to uh, the Correct Views on YouTube. The Correct Views... If that cuts off, the rest of the show will be on uh, the Correct Views channel, and it will be dated 315 2020 Massive Fukushima Update. All right, guys, The Guardian, another far leftist rag that uh, is actually quite useful when it comes to these kinds of facts. Um, 
Japan lets evacuation order on town hit by Fukushima disaster. Isn't that kind? What better way to bait everybody into showing up than to pretend that it's safe? If you've listened to this show so far, you know that it's not. Fataba to reopen for start of Olympic torch rally after being deserted for nine years, March 4th, 2020. Japan, imagine that, has lifted an evacuation order for parts of a town in the shadow of the wrecked Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant weeks before the area is to host the start of the Olympic torch relay. Futaba, which is 2.4 miles, 4 kilometers west of the plant, has been almost deserted since the nuclear meltdown nine years ago, while other areas in the region have mounted a partial recovery after the government declared them safe for residents. Now, we know that uranium and plutonium in its radioactive forms are toxic for millions and or billions, depending on the element of it being talked about. Millions or billions of years. So would anybody like to tell me how Fataba has decided that they're so very safe? We made them disappear. No, you didn't. You said they disappeared, and people are dumb down enough to go back so that you can make money for the Olympics. Futaba's 7,000 residents were forced to evacuate. Forced. They should have been delighted to. After the tsunami and it killed 18,000 people, the reopening of the 1.5 square mile area of Futaba means reconstruction workers can stay in accommodation near the railway station. That means they can get cancer and die, and they got permission to do it from the government. But residents will not be able to return for another two years. Yeah, you know, because that's a lot like 100 million years. That's the half-life of these elements. Mindless. The reopening of the 1.5 square hours, you know, I read that. They will be able to enter and leave for short visits without going through security and will no longer need to wear protective clothing. No, because the radioactiveness, the radioactivity is just going to jump around them. It's not going to hurt them a bit. While the coronavirus outbreak has prompted speculation that the Olympics could be canceled or postponed, Japan's government is keen to promote, oh, I bet they are, Tokyo 2020 as proof that the, that the region, including Fukushima, has recovered from the triple disaster. Well, isn't that kind? I'm overwhelmed with emotion, and we finally bring part of our town operations back home to our town, said Fataba's mayor, Shiro Izawa. I pledge to push forward with our recovery and the reconstruction. Yeah, I bet you do, because you want that money. You don't care about the life of any of the athletes that are coming, and God only knows what they're going to be exposed to. The domestic leg of the torch relay is due to begin on March 26th at Jay Village, a football training complex that functioned for years as a logistic hub. Now, all of this may have changed in light of the coronavirus. I, on that, I'm not sure yet, but it's a pretty safe bet that it could be. In addition to building excitement across the country ahead of the Tokyo 2020 Games and promoting the Olympic values, the Olympic Torch Relay aims to demonstrate solidarity with the regions still recovering from the 2011 earthquake and tsunami, the organizers said last month. Yuja Onuma, a Fataba resident, said recent said recent work to repair streets and decontaminate the town center, which just means spraying the radiation around, was designed to give the world a false impression before the Olympic torch relay. I wish they wouldn't hold the relay here, Anoma told reporters, pointing out workers repaving the road expected to be on the relay route, he added. Their number one aim is to show people how much we've recovered. I don't think people will understand anything by just seeing cleaned up tracts of land. Radiation readings in the air taken in February near Fatuba's railway station were around 0.28 microsieverts per hour, higher than the government set target of 0.23 microsieverts per hour, which is, of course, different than a millisievert. That's how that adds out if you're paying attention to the earlier signal. Another part of the town had a reading of 4.64 microsieverts per hour on the same day, meaning that a person would reach the annual exposure limit, which is already too high, 
of one millisievert recommended by the International Commission on Radiological Protection in just nine days. A year's worth of radioactivity in nine days, and yet they want to hold this there. The torch is due to pass through the village of Ishiatate Ish Ish the following day. Oh, shit. But campaigners this week described the relay as inappropriate and warned they had found radiation hotspots in the village. In a survey of 69 locations along and around the proposed relay route, they're going to be running through radioactivity. The grassroots group, the Radioactivity Monitoring Center for Citizens, said that it had found 44 sites, 44, with radioactive levels above 0.23 microsieverts per hour, including one severe hotspot, get this, of 0.85 microsieverts per hour along the torch route. So yeah, let's expose everyone to that at the Olympics. That's a great idea. Radiation exposure for runners passing along the route, it goes on to say later in the article. Look it up. This is all important. It quotes here... Uh, Nobuyoshi Ito, who was a farmer there, he said the civic group's finding cast doubt on the government claims that the decontamination has been a success. The work has it. Radiation exposure for the runners passing through the route may not be very high, but the overall situation in places initiated is severe, Ito said. Levels are several times higher, as many as 20 times higher in the village than they were before the disaster. And again, routine releases had it high to begin with. And people who moved back have had to put up with 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, which is why we're seeing cancer rates go up there. Only 1,200 of the 6,100 people have returned, Ito said. The small number of people coming means that the nuclear disaster is not over yet. No, and it's not going to be over yet. But the show almost is. <laughs> You are an idiot! That means it is time for the dumb deal of the day. You know what? I'm not even going to post the high def on the uh, on the uh, media speaks. I'm just going to post the low quality version. Too much of that ended when it ran out. Uh, this is a bit long, so I'm going to let you guys look up some of it yourself, but it is definitely worthy of the dumb deal of the day. If Buddy Puff was still a character that I did, and the behind-the-scenes queen isn't around. And yada, yada. It's just way too much work to do. I just haven't been in the mood to do the characters that... I don't know. But if Buddy Puff was still around, and if I was in the mood to keep him alive, he would have said, Yo, man, there's nothing cooler than surfing in radiological waters, man. That is rad. I guess, like, yeah, like literally rad, man. Okay, um... The dearly departed Buddy Puff. Um, SB Nation. Fukushima surfing tsunami nuclear disaster anniversary. People celebrating surfing in nuclear waters. Sinju uh, Murahara sits in a cluttered office of his surfboard factory at the edge of Odaka, a sleepy seaside town nine miles north of the now decommissioned Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The 52-year-old surfing legend leans back, dressed in his signature growlfit, head-to-toe, heathered gray sweats, and a silvering fringe around his temples to match. His eyes are deep black, his verbal cadence quick and choppy, his gestures to the boom next door telling a story he's told a thousand times before. It felt like a movie, he says, shrugging. No one can understand except for the people who experience it. And he goes on to talk about the nightmare of the disaster. If Fukushima were a book, the cover would be about radiation, but the contents would be totally different. Of course, people never read the contents. The trouble is, now that they are allowing surfing there, people are more concerned, such as this guy is, about selling his damn surfboards than he is about the health of the people to whom are going to be in the water with his surfboard. Maria would rather highlight the new grocery store in Food Hail Commentary Center where you can now buy Murahara surfboard productions, longboards and shortboards after slurping down a steamy bowl of ramen. 
He'd note that MSP was one of the first local businesses to begin employing people in 2016 when residents were given the all clear. That's the dumbie of the day. Um, it is not all clear. It is nothing short of absolutely toxic. And this article is very, very, very long. But I wanted to go ahead and point it out again. It's at S uh, sbnation.com. The name of the article here is the Fukushima Surf Revival. It was revived alongside the community in the wake of the tsunami and nuclear disaster. I want you to read this, and I want you to think about the data which I have given you in this show and think about how unbelievably stupid that is. As more measurement streamed is, Bonner says what became obvious to us right away was that the evacuation areas were completely wrong because they evacuated a perfect radius around the plant, basically a blast radius. It didn't take into account the weather or topography or any of that. So many nuances there. And the stew of poison is still very much there, and they are going to have the Olympics there. All right, guys, I'm about to jump off here, but I do have some comments I want to get to on my channel. Um, Moochie Boo says, oh, they took one comment away. You are so right about all of this. It's unfortunate how many sheeple there are in the world. Those of us who see the world and society's destruction are greatly outnumbered. Um, correct. Nor did Chabs. Japan radiation, now coronavirus. I don't think there will be a large attendance at the Olympics. I think he's much right. Uh, Moochaboo said, I would think that they would cancel it, but it's all about the money. Correct. As is the sad fact of a lot of things. Money is sexy, wrote uh, Nora Chabs back, LOL. Um, I know I got some comments here on the stream from Facebook. I'm going to get to those if I can. Uh, I'm not probably going to have to answer that in Facebook because it's lollygagging here. But thank you, friends, for listening. And please do remember that you can donate at the correct use at hotmail.com. And again, if you want me to do the COVID-19 updates, you want me to put the time in and give you the kind of work and dedication that you know that I give. I'm asking for a $5 donation at the correct use of hotmail.com through PayPal. Good night, friends, and may God bless you. I sincerely mean.